uh, now we are going to understand how to mark the student's assignment on the basis of the rubric that we had set up. So now one turned in is here. That means one student has uh, submitted the assignment. And if I would like to show you the student's side. So this is the student's side. This is the assignment that the student had received. And this is the document that the student has submitted. And here you will be able to see that uh, this is the rubric that the student is seeing. And as of now, no scores have been given. If the student clicks here, the student will be able to see all the uh, different levels belonging to each criteria. So this is the rubric for the student. Now let's try to understand how to evaluate the student using this rubric. And it's very simple. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on the student's assignment. So once this opens up, this is the submission that the student has made. So this is what the student has written. And you are going to read the entire essay. And after that, of course, we will be able to understand what this, uh, how the student has done on individual criteria. After this, now, once you have to start grading the student, what you just have to do is, this is the icon that will help you in grading. It's already selected. Here, you will be able to see your rubric that you had created. These are the three components of that, the three criteria. And now what you just have to do is click here. It opens up the three levels of this particular criteria. And after judging the student on the basis of this criteria, you assign the student a level. So let's say you find the content moderate. Now, what you just have to do is click on moderate here. So once you click on this, you can see that the marks have automatically been updated to five now let's similarly go to the structuring component now once you see structuring again let's say you feel that the content is moderately structured click on it the marks are updated finally let's say grammar and you find the grammar is fine everything is okay you click on excellent now you can see for each of these this is how it's like out of the three, this was medium, this was the moderate one, and this is the excellent one. This is how it picks up the thing. Of course, you can make any amendments. So for example, uh, you feel that let's not give the person five, but let's give it a seven. So let's. it's not a 10 and it's not a five, but it's something intermediate. So let's give the student seven. So you can make any updations here. Also, of course, it does not mean that uh, since the assignment is of 20 marks, the rubric should also carry 20 marks. It's not that way. You can actually set up a rubric as per your requirement and the remaining marks you can allot on your own. So now I am ready with the assessment. My grades are ready. So I'm I, uh, I have given the student 15 marks. Now, what I just have to do is click on return here. And once I click on return, these marks will be assigned to the student. So here, there it goes. Now, let's try to see what happens at the student level. So here, if you see, and let me just take you through the rubric part. The student has got 15 marks. And you can see uh, this is how the student will be able to see what he has or he or she has been marked on individual criteria. So moderate five points, moderately structured here in excellent. So the student knows how he has scored on each level and hence he got 15 marks. So this is the interface on the student's part. So this is how this works. and. It is so easy to use this rubric to evaluate your students. I'm sure this will really help you in your assessment and evaluation as well as the student.